Well, hello, Charlie. That's right. I'm here in Central Paris at the Place de la Trocadero, where several thousand people are protesting for uh, press freedom. And I've been hearing chants of liberté behind me. And uh, groups gathered include various human rights organizations and press unions. And we've also seen the yellow vests are present here today. And they're angry about this controversial proposed um, security law. Under that, um, it would be made a crime to show police officers' faces without blurring them. And that would be in news reports or social media. Um, well, we've seen various different placards today. And it, we're here with me now. I've got Agnès Karimi, who's a uh, school teacher here in France. And I can see that your placard is saying democracy is in danger. And um, can, I, can you tell me what, what's brought you out here today to protest? Because it's really important to fight for freedom here in France. Uh, I don't want to live in a police state. And as a teacher, I'm really worried for the next generation because this new law will not allow us to, uh, to actually film what happened to George Floyd. As an English teacher, I started class talking about uh, what happened in Black Lives Matter, and this would no longer be possible. So we would be actually having drones and facial recognition. We would be living in a police state, and we could no longer film police brutality or police violence. This is very scary. So I'm here to fight for democracy. And what repercussions do you think this law had could, could have for your, your students in the future? So you're here with some of your students today. Well, they've already witnessed police brutality on Tuesday when they started voting the law. My students in Balzac International had a very peaceful sit-in and uh, we were actually brutalized and chased by uh, military police that were sent and even some of my colleagues were hit and I was hit on the on the arm. So uh, and Tuesday evening there was another peaceful demonstration against this law by all the citizens and seven journalists were actually hit. Two of them were arrested from France Television. So it's a real scandal and I hope the whole world will know that France France's democracy is in danger. Thank you very much for your time. Um, that's all we've got time for now. Well, the, the bill is, um, it's passed an initial reading, but it still has to go ahead uh, in front of the Senate so that there is uh, potentially a long road ahead before it's passed into law.